Hey guys, hope you're all doing really well. I know I haven't posted, a, actually have I posted a video? I'm not sure, I have a few videos that I need to go out before you guys see this one. Anyway, I feel like I have, haven't have vlogged in a while, so I just wanna like keep you guys updated, what's going on, things I'm loving, just felt like vlogging to be honest. I'm wearing this new lip stain that I just got today. Tried it on, filmed a bit TikTok, Posted the TikTok, it's live, so go over to TikTok to see what it is. But yeah, I really like this colour. And I wanted to update you guys on some like home decor type things that are going on at the moment. First one is in the garden. So we have a new addition to the outdoor furniture and it is this beautiful mosaic round table. And this is actually gifted from Olivia's, so I'm super grateful for that because it is beautiful and it is just the perfect size don't mind the state of the garden it needs a clean up but yeah i am so happy with this it looks so nice in person i really love that it's like white and bright i feel like i can get so much nice content outside here and it just arrived at the perfect time because the weather is so good these days and we want to enjoy more meals outside so i'm so excited to use this and have like breakfast outside like when we have family round almost family came round and we also around the table and it was just such a nice vibe i think i'm gonna get more like fairy lights here or like i don't know something more stuff here the garden is such a mess do you know what it is we clean the garden almost every day but this tree this tree <laughs> It causes a lot of um, this situation. But yeah, we just wanted to show you guys that. And also in this area, I want to plant like mint. We have some mint coming from the neighbor's garden over there, which I use. But I want to plant my own. I want to plant some parsley, some basil, some coriander, um, just so I can like come out to the garden and use my own. Because so much of what I buy just ends up going to waste because there's only two of us. So how much coriander am I going to buy? And like, I can't just get two stems of coriander did you get what i mean but if i plant my own it's gonna be amazing so yeah i'm looking forward to that i think i'm gonna ask my mother-in-law to help me with that because she's got green fingers and i definitely don't what else did i want to update you guys on i'm gonna make lunch now do you want to make lunch with me let's go i'm vlogging do you mind being in okay. i have too much tomato i will just eat this So the last clip you saw was actually from quite a few days ago, but I am doing more stuff. So it's a Monday, Monday morning. I love Monday mornings because um, I just feel quite excited for the week. New fresh start. I actually really love, I actually love fresh starts, like new years, new seasons. So this week I've decided to focus on the house and I've just been kind of like not doing much on the house because I think it just requires so much effort and I've got to like work and create content. Last night it clicked in my head that if I create content about the house, I'm doing both things. So that's what I'm gonna do this week. My brother-in-law is gonna help with the garden. So that will be really helpful because he knows about plants and stuff. I can't keep a plant alive to save my life. So so he's gonna help with that. He's in Bangladesh at the moment. So when he comes back, he can get started on the garden and it's all nice and clean and ready for him to work on. So that's really good. Got some mint peeking through from the um, neighbors and I've been really enjoying mint tea lately. So I'm gonna plant some of my own mint. And I also want to do some parsley and coriander and basil because those are the only ones I use like really regularly. So that will be good. I also want loads of flowers. Like I want it to be a colourful, happy garden that brings me joy when I look at it. So that's what I'm gonna do when he's back, but he's not back until like the end of the week. So I and I have like the itch to like plant something. So I'm gonna do the balconies in my oh my and Oma's bedroom. We have like little tiny Juliet balconies, so that's really cute to kind of just have some flowers which you can see from outside. So I'm gonna 
have a look today with Maria, see what flowers are good for that space. I kind of want something that's going to flower all year round, but a lot of the ones that flower all year round are just kind of not that pretty looking. I kind of have my heart set on geranium if I'm honest, so I think I'm just going to get some geranium and then maybe I can like change it up when they die, <laughs> which will be quite soon because it's me that's doing this. Um, so yeah, that's the plan with like the balcony. I think I just want red geranium to be honest. My mother-in-law was showing me around like all of her plants. Obviously I've seen her garden many times but like it's in full swing, proper blooming. She's a huge gardener so she was like talking me through the plants she's got and stuff and I just like kept looking at the geraniums and they're just so nice and like bright and just like happy so I just want them and then for other bits around the house we're working with a lovely interior designer her name's Libida I will put the Instagram page here of her um, interior designer brand she has helped us a lot a lot a lot with downstairs the basement so I'm just gonna follow her lead from for all of the things that need to happen downstairs in the open plan living and dining so that's kind of fine that's all kind of under control I do need to action a few things that she's given us to do because we've been back and forth with like options and the way we want to do things and we've got the final renders so now it's just about getting it all sorted and done so that's kind of like under control but the rest of the house is not like I didn't have a plan at all for how I want all of the house to look and feel and I just like saved loads of things on Instagram but they're all really different I'm like this doesn't work because it's too different I like too many things going on so what I've decided is I want like a South Asian theme throughout the house and like I just want it to be really tastefully done like huge inspiration from um Sonam Kapoor's video with AD which I'm sure so many of you guys have I've already seen I'll link it down below if you haven't but yeah like just very kind of like luxurious South Asian doesn't have to be very very luxurious this is an our forever home um but you know I want it to look really nice anyway and I think one way of doing that is she's got loads of like wallpaper in her house and I think that's a really nice like a nice way of adding personality to the house one thing I didn't want the house to be is like no shade to anyone who has a house like this obviously each to their own everyone's got their own taste and stuff but I really didn't want it to be like minimal Instagrammy because I just feel like it's not very representative of me and Omar and I just want the house to feel like our house and to be honest whenever I've designed anything like I don't I'm not I'm not a minimalist like I'm not a maximalist either but like really minimal stuff is just not me it's not my personality yeah. it's not Omar's either so yeah we're just gonna go for like South Asian stuff I've got a bunch of um, things on Pinterest that I've pinned so I'll insert some of that now so yeah I think I'm gonna have to source a lot of things from like Pakistan India Bangladesh because I don't know how much of this is gonna be available in the UK but let's see especially the wallpaper like I don't know how I'm gonna find wallpaper like that kind that I want maybe Etsy actually this is way too much concealer but I just really like the applicator of this this is the older Huda Beauty concealer the overachiever in coconut flakes and the primer I used was the Laura Mercier illuminating primer foundation I love this foundation whenever I use this foundation I love it so much and I stop using it for a bit and then I use it again and I'm like why did I stop using this it's so good I used it yesterday in the hot weather oh my god it's like 37 degrees today and this lasted so well it's the bare minerals complexion rescue foundation stick hydrating foundation stick and i think this has spf yeah it's got spf 25 so that's really good and it just gives such a beautiful like finish to the skin it's like demi matte so it's perfect for this weather because i get really greasy and i'm not actually i don't have oily skin i've actually got dry skin but in this heat i don't know anyone who could have dry skin in this heat so anyway really good foundation i'm in the shade ginger 06 or dune also works for me to be honest the sponge i'm using i got because of tiktok guys there's so many things i'm buying because of tiktok it's so bad but so many of them are like reduced or like buy with tiktok shop coupons so they're like a lot less than like what they are in shops but anyway yeah this uh, sponge i'm using is the coco cosmetics by chloe sponge it's the smaller one but i really want to get the bigger one now because it's Actually really good I've also stopped putting concealer on my eyelids and I think it looks quite good like it's just like a natural hint of color let's do this one in it a contour it's a why not 
I'm using the same foundation stick, but this is in the shade Cinnamon. This haircut is so big at the moment and everyone's getting like layers and stuff but it's actually a bit hard to style when you have woken up and it's just like... <laughs> but I've really been enjoying my um, air wrap with the round brush attachment. I think it, it's just a really nice soft bit of volume and I've figured out a way to just do it in like five minutes and it's actually really effective. I just take really big pieces and it does the job especially with the round brush head attachment. With the curler obviously it wouldn't work because it needs to have like a thin enough piece of hair for it to wrap around but um yeah I'm enjoying the round brush head. I'm gonna die in the seat sorry guys I have to put the fan on I know it's gonna be annoying to listen to. I'll just put music over the rest of it. I love this blusher. Cool toned bubblegum pink. It's Watermelon by Laura Messier. some of my PR stuff and then I'm gonna go to the plant shop. Guys, I also got this because of TikTok shop. I'm telling you literally I buy so many things from there. But anyway, this I feel like is such a good purchase because I used to have my brushes in these kinds of containers. So I don't know why my rooms always get dusty. So the tops of the brushes would always have so much dust on them and it would be disgusting that I didn't even want to use them. But I'm also very lazy with cleaning my brushes. So that was also, that was obviously very unhygienic. Um, But yeah, I saw this on TikTok shop. Well, no, it wasn't actually on I don't think I bought this from TikTok shop. I think it was like sold out by the time I saw that TikTok, but I think I got this from a company was called Vanity Collections. I think it was from Etsy and it was actually quite expensive. It was like 60, 70 pounds because of the shipping. I think it came from like Australia or something. But yeah, I just think it is so worth it because I feel like I was breaking out because of the dust and everything on my um, brushes because I do have a dust allergy. I'm really stupid for not doing this earlier, but yeah, I think this is a genius idea. I'll link it below from wherever I got it from if you guys are interested as well. So I didn't do anything to my hair, I literally just put it in a crocodile clip because it's way too hot to have my hair out so don't really care how it looks when it's up. But on that note, I'm going to show you guys some of the things that I picked up on my um, little solo day in London the other day. It was just nice because I haven't done that in ages and like I shared on my stories what I was up to. I had an event and then I like just shopped around and stuff and just tried to take the afternoon off to get my creative juices flowing again because I feel like as an influencer it's important to set time aside just for like inspiration and it can become quite boring quite quickly if you don't like do things you enjoy and reignite that creativity that was once there. Anyway that's what I try to do and one of the things I've been wanting for ages are like 90s crocodile clips. I think they look so cute with like you know when like you don't tuck your all of your hair in even when you tuck all of your hair in I just think they look really cool but also when you kind of do a, an up thing and let, let the hair out so anyway i got a few of these so i got this one these are all from accessorize i really liked the color of this one and then i got a bunch of other things let me show you also from Accessorize, I got these. This one I really like. I really like the ones that have like a gap. This was five pounds. This one I feel like was like more like 10, 12 pounds. So yeah, love both of these. And then I also got a bunch of little ones because I often just pin back like the top half of my hair and then I don't need such a big one. So I got these. I really liked this curly one. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these this summer. This was also 12 pounds from Accessorize. And then I was at a Dermalogica event 
So I got a bunch of goodies from there. It was actually for their um, new milk foliant, which I'm a huge fan of the microfoliant. I first do an emollient cleanse like with an oil, usually the Dermalogica pre-cleanse, then like a cleansing gel. And then I use the microfoliant because it's like, it's gentle enough exfoliator for every day. And it's not got any like hard edges. So it won't cause any micro tears in your skin, but I quite like a physical exfoliate. I feel like I can feel it kind of lifting the dead skin cells away. I know AHAs and BHAs are like what everyone is loving like chemical exfoliators which I do use as well but I think I don't know the daily microfoliant just has its place in my skincare cabinet and has for a very long time the Dermalogica has launched the this isn't an ad by the way it sounds very scripted it's not they've launched the new daily milk foliant which is supposed to be an even gentler version of the daily microfoliant this is oat based so um, yeah it's a lot smoother you can't feel the granules as much and oat Oat is known to kind of calm some skin conditions like eczema and stuff so I just think this is going to be a really good one for very sensitive skin and Dermalogica's cruelty free which I love. I also got the Hyaluronic Ceramide Mist which I've been looking in my skincare cabinet for a mist and I got rid of all of mine because I was I just thought I'm not, I don't use these and they're just taking up space. I'm trying to be very clutter free and minimal with everything that I have now because I just feel like I gather so many things so quickly especially with my job and I just don't want to hoard anything so I just got rid of all my mists and then I really missed having one so I'm glad to have this back in my life especially in this heat sometimes you just want to like kind of refresh so that's quite nice a little cup as well cute oh it's a reusable one amazing maybe Omar can use this for this I don't know if he'll want a dermalogical one but this is handy got a little yeah Good for coffee thank you dermalogica and i think i got some other bits oh i really like the hairband because it doesn't take up a lot of space so I, I like to travel with this one i've got the this color of this so that's nice i love having my hair up while i'm doing my skincare i feel like having my hair in the way really um is not hygienic and then i got a few bits from Space and K, which I've wanted for so long. I finally got some Rare Beauty, yay. They didn't actually have the blush that everyone loves. I think it's Joy, like the corally one. But I picked up Grateful and Bliss. Bliss is like a matte one, so it's quite a different formula. And Grateful is similar to Joy, it's like a dewy formula. These are both the liquid blushes. And then I also picked up the Neely Rose lip gloss. So excited to try this out. This is a glossy lip balm. Excited to give those a go. I also wanted to try some like base products from Rare Beauty and I just couldn't figure out what shade I was in the tinted moisturizer and he was very kind of like happy to give me a sample. So I got a sample of the tinted moisturizer and I got shade 34W. So I'll try this out. I'm quite glad I got a little sample. It is actually looking a bit dark. So I'm glad I got a sample to try out. I feel like I can't tell what shade of foundation I am until I do my whole face with it so yeah I've spent too much on foundations that are not the right shade for me to do that again so that's what I got from Dermalogica and my little wander around central I'm gonna actually create a tiktok about my rare beauty first impression so if you want to follow me on tiktok I'm actually posting quite a bit there so definitely follow me there I want to actually start posting like really short and snappy daily vlogs on there I've seen a few Few people do that and I feel like it's very my kind of thing so I'm gonna start doing that. Let's move on to some PR. I don't even know what's in here. Ooh, I wasn't even expecting this. That's fun. What is this? Please enjoy the 25th anniversary limited edition of Translucently Setting Powder. Oh this is so sweet. It's available at Look Fantastic. It's like a fancy little anniversary edition. That's so I used the powder today. I was actually gonna just talk about the powder while I was doing my makeup, but I just didn't. I should have. I wanted to say, like, I keep switching and trying out different products for under my eyes, and I keep going back to the Laura Mercier one because it's not heavy and it stops my under eyes from creasing, and a lot of powders just don't help with my concealer creasing. So, ooh, chunky version. This is a very big size. That's very nice, though. Oh my god, I love, look how nice. It's got little faces on the packaging and a really big powder puff. Very fun. Thank you, Laura Mercier. 
Next we have a very exciting parcel. This was actually my outfit for Eid, but it didn't arrive in time and I knew it wouldn't. The brand told me actually that it's probably not gonna arrive in time and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna order it anyway just in case it does arrive in time. So I actually really wanted it, so it didn't actually end up arriving on time. So I wore my sister's, just one of the suits she ordered. She orders a lot of Asian clothes, so she always has something that she hasn't worn yet or always got a suit so i ordered this from zaid which is a brand from pakistan Ooh. oh it's extra small i don't know if extra small is gonna fit me i think i'm a small in their sizing but let's see this is the top the long blue gummies and then just plain blue trousers and a really nice like chiffon is it chiffon or is it silk it's got an organza border but this really nice summery but uh, i will try that on hopefully it fits me but it's extra small so i don't know if it will thank you very much zabe for the lovely gifting now moving on to final parcel dermalogica let's see what's in here oh it's the full size of the daily milk folly and they told me i would be receiving it okay i'm really excited to give this a go i tried it on the back of my hands it is very very gentle so if you're a bit scared of exfoliating your skin daily this would be a good one to try and the way you use this is you put like half a teaspoon into your hand very wet hands you give it a mix like this and it foams up quite a bit and the um lady that was explaining it to us said it should be the consistency of like the foam on your cappuccino so it's very very foamy very gentle it's not abrasive at all so yeah i'm excited to try that and then then i've got a little hairband okay cool that's it for my pr stuff let's get going to the plant shop i'm so excited okay i'm gonna go measure my balconies so i know what size plant pots to get and then let's get going right guys we are here at b and q we're going to the garden center now i've got my little flower helper with me do you want to be on the vlog it's gonna help me pick out some flowers. Oh my god, this is so exciting! <laughs> oh my god, they're so like colorful and bright. I love it. Oh my god, there's so many! Oh my gosh, wow, where do I start? Finally got my own place to do this kind of stuff. I always used to like walk around these things and be like, oh, when I get my house, I'll do this and that. Oh, this is the geranium I was talking about. Yeah, my mother in law's looks a lot fuller, <laughs> but um, this is nice. Begonia. Right guys, I would like a terracotta pot like that one. So because my balcony is 98 centimeters, it would fit three, which I think looks really good. But it's the first time I'm doing any kind of planting, gardening, anything. So I don't know if like I'm supposed to get this one instead because it's like better for like the first planting or if it doesn't really matter. So I'm just trying to figure that out. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in touch when uh, I've figured out what the hell I'm getting. But I'm loving this. We can get the ones that are like barely anything coming out because they're going to come out soon. Yeah. Like that one doesn't look too. Yeah. That one's quite nice. Oh my god, we're gonna need so many. Four for one balcony. I'll bring the plant pot and see. <laughs> Would one? I think two might overcrowd the pot. Okay. I feel like I need to place time on one after. <laughs> and I'm gonna put them in this plant pot. Should I? get one plant per plant pot or two that's one um, i think one is fine because it's the plant's quite big that's two yeah they're not gonna have enough space to grow grow quite a bit yeah they do okay cool i'll get one then sorted i think that makes sense because i want it to be big mm. All right, let's see how many pots are left. Ah, there's one. No, there's two. I think. Yeah, there's two left. I don't know. Oh, our plants are leaving. <laughs> okay, now for soil compost. Yeah, and the watering. So I was looking at the um, vegetables, and I'm thinking, ooh, tomatoes. Should I grow like? But I'm gonna keep it simple because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. So let's just see if I can keep mint alive and these alive and then we'll move on to the next step. I am ready to get planting. We've got a little fork and spade as well and some plant food and some gloves. 
yep good to go all right guys we are hydrating i have a strawberry lemonade maria has a peach hibiscus iced tea peach hibiscus iced tea and we are gonna go to tk maxx down there let's try and find a pretty watering can right guys tk maxx didn't have a watering can but they have this which i've wanted for a while because omar uses a lot of lemon juice so i'm gonna get this and there's loads of like nice dinner set well they're not complete dinner sets but dinner plates and stuff here which i really like this kind of thing and like this kind of thing so i'm gonna have a look around it's a few hours later now omar's helped me bring these pots down to the garden i'm gonna repot them and then they're gonna go on the balcony we're very dizzy today They are planted. So pretty, I love them. Guys, it's a few days later. I just wanted to mention that there is a discount code available for you guys as well if you wanna shop anything on Olivia's, excluding sale items and a specific line, I think it's called E. Schultz. But other than that, the 15% off code applies on everything and it's NM15. I am loving this table. I'm filming this short clip just like a week later and we've been loving the table even more. So yeah, absolutely love Olivia's, check them out. I will have the exact dining table linked in the description box if it's still available online. My discount code again is NM15 if you have your eye on anything from Olivia's. 